What's going on everybody? Connor Speed 6 here. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, hey, today as you guys can see, we are back on Forza Horizon 3 uh, with a little bit of a throwback here on Throwback Thursdays for you. Today we're driving my absolute favorite rally car in Forza Horizon 3 and that is the Ford Focus RS RX with my absolute favorite, favorite custom paint by GT Impatient Pie. Impatient Pie made this paint for me a couple years ago, I'd probably say, and uh, it has been long-standing one of my favorite paints. It is absolutely gorgeous, top to bottom, front to back. It is available in Forza Horizon 3 and Forza Horizon 4 if you'd like to download it for your Ford Focus RS RX. Again, the painter's name is GT Impatient Pie and will be down in the description below as well as the pinned comment if you'd like to get this for your Focus RS RX. Now, some of you who've been around my channel may remember uh, my Goliath rally stage that I created back in Forza Horizon 3. Now, we all know that the custom route creator wasn't around back then, but what I would do is I would go into online sessions that were private, and I would plot out these custom routes or custom stages on all of the best off-road trails on the map. And then what I would do is I would just run them in my free time for time trial sake uh, and for video sake just to see uh, how well they did, how difficult I could make them, uh, and they were a ton of fun, absolutely fantastic routes. What I've done today though is I've actually extended my longest one, which was called the Goliath Rally Stage, into the Ultimate Rally Stage. So as you can see, we are down here in the bottom south part of the map at Byron's Bay, up by the Lighthouse. The Goliath Rally Stage runs down from the Lighthouse through the jungle area, or the rainforest as they call it here in the game dives down into some really really tight back uh, deep woods sections and then goes around the Marunda Reservoir uh, and then <laughs> far up into Kiowa Valley and then finally finishes I believe it is right here on the map yes finishes right here on the map what I've done is I've extended that just a little bit uh, so we continue out into the desert I wanted to actually include some of the desert rallying this time uh, so it runs along this road here, down through the dry reservoir, and then, then back up into Ormiston Gorge, uh, where we enjoy some of these rally stages, or rally roads, I should say, and then finally ends right there where the river crosses the road. Uh, so we're gonna jump right into it, but before we do that, please be sure to leave the video a like, leave me a positive comment down below, and if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe for more weekly content like this. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop into the RSRX, we're gonna to go to the start line, which is right here basically at this sign is where I've always said the start line was. So uh, let's jump in, see if uh, I don't smash a couple trees and uh, let me know what you think about this uh, rally stage in Forza Horizon 3. I just wanted to go back a little bit and play some of these older games every once in a while for y'all because I know that Forza Horizon 3 is still a very, very fun game and very popular for people to play. All right, y'all, let's get it. So this Ford Focus RS RX in Horizon 3 was absolutely a dream to drive. Uh, it was one of the more OP rally cars for the tighter stages or tighter uh, rally circuits, you could say, especially in Blizzard Mountain. Uh, it's very, very grippy, but it still allows you to slide a little bit because uh, the car does have a lot of low end torque. Uh, so whenever you're sort of powering out of the corners, a lot of times the back end wants to kick out a little bit, which is good. Uh, makes it a little bit more fun to race. There are, of course, some tarmac sections on this very long ultimate rally stage, what I'm calling it. Uh, but that's, again, to be expected. We can only do so much with the roads we're getting on the, given on the map. Dive off the tarmac here. Nice and easy. Around the sign. Okay, I'm into the bush. It is Australia after all, mate. Forza Horizon 3 is absolutely gorgeous. Top to bottom. This map is fantastic. The world itself is beautiful. Uh, the developers have always done so great with the Horizon games and making the worlds just top notch and way better looking than any other games. Doesn't matter how big they are, they are always fantastic to drive and they look amazing. Speaking of amazing, this car, it's ridiculous. Lots and lots of switchbacks to maneuver on this section. We're going to try something a little bit different right here. Let's Don Juan song this corner. 
poorly. Sorry, Joe. Through a couple little rivers. Or fords, we should call them. I crossed a ford in a ford. There's one of the ford signs right there, actually. Yeah, I started I started this series. I think it was called the the hardest rally stage. I, I made a video very, very long time on my channel in Forza Horizon 3 where I created a, a rally stage that is considered or would be probably the most difficult rally stage on the map, which it probably was. But then I had to take it, of course, a couple steps further and make it longer, more difficult, faster, etc. And then it wouldn't be a Connor Speed 6 rally unless I made it even longer and even faster and even more difficult. Yeah, I hope you guys are alright with going back and, and revisiting some of these games and doing stuff like this because I, I miss it. I really, really do. Uh, I think I want to take another spin around Goliath and sort of revisit my very first video ever released on this game, which was just simply a lap around Goliath in a McLaren P1. I want to see if I can go back and beat that time, so I may actually upload something like that really soon. Oh, nice and easy, nice and easy. Hey, through the gates. Didn't knock any fencing over, that's a win. This is the most difficult road for some reason for me. It's a little bit difficult to see the upcoming corners. And that tree out there has taken me out a, a few times, so. Good stuff though, God, it's so much fun. I miss doing this. Hey, I want you guys to stay tuned to the channel as well. Be sure to hit the notification bell. Uh, we are going to be having some really, really good fun here coming up soon with an all new series we're going to try to make. It's going to be a, probably a seven or eight part series on the channel. It's going to take some time to, to get it all planned out and get it all recorded and edited together, of course, but it's going to be really, really good fun. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, this car is handling this like a proper, proper rally car should. I typically used the RSRX on Blizzard Mountain because that expansion, of course, is is just basically all rally, all off-road, and it is a perfect car for those routes on Blizzard Mountain and for Rivals even over there. It's a uh, top of the Rivals leaderboard car on a lot of the a lot of the routes on Blizzard Mountain. So if you're looking for a Rivals car, this is the one for you. I do have, I believe, a tune shared. An S1 900. This is really difficult right here too. Very, very bumpy, very bouncy. Lots of time where your tires are not on the ground. Oh, okay, we made it. Good fun, I love this, oh my gosh. I think I need to get a, a rally lobby going here soon on Horizon 3, just for fun. So going around the little logging factory here, I guess you could call it. Not doing any cuts. We're gonna follow the road as is. Now this corner up here is is not difficult. However, that log right there on the outside is so easy to hit. And there's like two or three really big logs there. Uh, so you end up slowing way down. And I mean way down. All right, looks like it's getting a little bit dark, unfortunately. We're gonna take this up into whoops, probably the best rally road on this map, and that is these little switchbacks going up the mountain. Rotate that back end around. I mean, this is some proper rallying up in here. You can really, really throw the car around and flog these things all about. Very tight, very twisty, still quick, and very challenging, of course. Wouldn't be a rally stage if it wasn't challenging. Rotate, boy. Let's go. Let's go. All right. I was looking for my next turn in point and didn't mind the tree on the outside of the corner like a moron. It's okay, though. Wow. I didn't say I was perfect. Oh! Clearly not perfect. Son of a gun. Okay. It's getting dark. This could pose a problem once we get out into the de uh, desert area because the desert is very very dark at night and the roads are very difficult to see so I could miss some turn in I'll have to use my mini map oh man yeah it got dark really quick of course 
been sitting here on the game for probably an hour and it's not gotten dark once but of course as soon as I start recording it gets dark that's just how it goes very very difficult section right there because those are are basically just little bumps or little whoops and your car just wants to keep bouncing no matter which direction you steer the car it wants to just go the opposite direction because you're trying to steer and counter steer all right so back onto some tarmac pick up a little speed the next corner is very very difficult it's a hairpin as you can see the next dirt road to the right dives off so we're going to try to not overshoot it try to find it see god it's so dark i can't find it all right that was horrible but anyways we're back on track a little speed here go uphill take this really big jump over the crest but you got to be careful because you don't want to go too far left or too far right because of the trees and the landing can be rough as you can see there this is an amazing trail so on the goliath rally stage that i built it actually ends right up here uh where we hit the road but oh no we're gonna keep on going for the ultimate rally stage so yeah again we have some tarmac but that's okay uh whoa plenty of time to stretch the car's legs a little bit max it out should be about 165. we're gonna dive off the road here in just a second hopefully without overshooting see I, it's so difficult to see because everything's kind of the same color all right here we go into the desert love this road too i've used it for a few different videos back in the past the race to the gorge i believe is what i called it using some trophy trucks and the uh land rovers and, and a couple different vehicles like that man looking at the sky here i'm actually glad it, it got dark because looking at the sky here this reminds me the forza horizon 3 developers absolutely nailed it uh, they went to australia and they recorded the night sky for many many days i believe it was 30 days uh to put it into the game and it is absolutely beautiful oh especially when the, the clouds roll in and uh and the, the night sky of course it's so big and it's just grand uh, they did again a spectacular job all right little tarmac and then we're gonna dive off here to the left and go back through the desert again and i'm gonna overshoot it of course never done that before dive down the hill here this is a very very fast sweeping high-speed section downhill and then back uphill uh, up this little hill right here with a little bit of a jump at the top of it and then we're gonna follow this route to the right where it was because we're going to go to the left into the little town God, again, I can't say enough about how fantastic this car is. Look at that night sky. It is just ridiculous. I have to say, if we had the custom route creator, watch out. If we had the custom route creator in Forza Horizon 3, it would have been a massive game changer. Uh, I, I'm just imagining all the routes that I could have built using this map and a route creator. That's nah, a little too grippy for a nice slide like that. All right, so we're going to dive off here across the, the, the little river. Uh, we're going to dive off to the left. Hopefully not hit that car. Yep, we made it. The festival out in the desert is directly ahead. That's why you see all those blimps. If you don't have Forza Horizon 3, or if you've never played Forza Horizon 3, you really, really need to. I know it's not on the marketplace anymore, but you can find uh, hard disks all over eBay right now for really cheap. So if you guys... Oops, pay attention. Yeah, if you guys have never played it, I would definitely recommend jumping all over uh, some of those deals that I've seen on eBay. All right, now we're going to follow left here. I will have this whole route mapped out uh, in my Discord server. Uh, so be sure oh, be sure to join the Discord server. That way you can download the map and run it with your friends. Kick a little wide, a little wide. I'm alive. And then we're going to dive off here. Go up this tiny little connecting road back onto this main dirt road but this is it we're coming towards the finish line i gotta keep looking at the map again because it's so dark whoa forgot about that rock on the inside i barely got away from it just a couple more corners left big slide around this corner and then we're gonna slide immediately left and across the river 
absolutely fantastic. I love racing that route. I seriously just do it in my free time just for fun. No time involved, no challenging racing between other people. Uh, but if you wanted to get a group of people together uh, to just take on that route and just have people just rally it, it, it would be so much fun. Uh, I may actually be doing that here very soon, so stay tuned. I am going to attempt to do a couple more live streams more often. Uh, so if you guys want to take part in those, of course, follow me on all my social medias, join the Discord, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this today. I will have, again, the tune information down below, and I will have this whole map, uh, the mapped out route on my Discord, so be sure to head over there as well to download that so you can run this. Uh, but again, I appreciate you guys watching. Please leave the video a like, leave a positive comment below. If you are still here watching, comment, positive comment, in the comment section below. That's it for me today, guys. Until next time, I am Connor Speed 6. Much love, everyone. See you soon.